Hello, everyone. It's time to sort some things out. Oh, boy. We have so much junk spread around this area. Like, it's, it's genuinely getting out of hand. And so, we're going to do a little bit of organizing to start this episode off. We're going to try and get this place cleared up and bring all of it down into a little under, underneath area here. Hmm. Whoa! <laughs> Whoops. I forget how quick that is. I think I want that back there. But we're going to bring that all down here and start to fill this up with all these different bits and pieces. And the fact that I can just do this and put it all away, oh, it's so good. <laughs> the other thing that I want to do is probably set up... Oh, God. That digs so fast. Some extra storage on the sides here. Some bits and pieces through here and all that fun stuff. So, I'm gonna use barrels. Oh, it's snowing again. I have placed down in some random places these feral flare lanterns to hopefully keep the snow off my uh, my ship a little bit. Oh, it's thundering too, so I can actually cancel this, this snowstorm. Thank you. Professor Kenjin, the son of Herobrine, has awoken. No, thank you. Also, I don't need that in my hand. Come here. Thank you. We do not want any Herobrines in this world. So, as you can see, things are a lot neater up here after putting down those feral flare lanterns. Hopefully it does help keep that all away for a little while. But now it's just a matter of going through and organizing all of this. I've got plenty of spruce here. When did I get... When did I get that? Nice. But all of this netherrack and stuff can finally go. There's just... Oh, it's going to be amazing. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. But it's also potentially going to be a little bit boring. Because all I'm going to be doing is just basically picking up all of these backpacks. Actually, let's, uh, let's just pick them all up and take them down with us. Fill our inventory with backpacks. And I can actually probably grab these and also wrap them up in some stuff. I'm pretty sure I've got some packing tape somewhere. Oh, there's more in there. Oh, but they're empty. It's okay. So, um, yeah, let me put all of this away because I think sorting the inventory part of things isn't necessarily the most interesting. And I think we could do some other fun things instead. So, uh, let's do this. Put down some extra storage for the time being. And then I'll bring you back in once we have all of this set up. Oh, exciting stuff. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'll take that. Nice. It's not really that expensive, but wait, damage plate. Yeah, worth it. Thank you. Back to sorting. We can put that away for now. And here we go. Why does everything fit into the smallest amount of space after I was living in such a mess? I've got all of these things in here, a couple of leftover spruce drawers for some bulk stuff, and we've used 20k out of our 64. But the real amazing thing is this. Look at it. How? <laughs> How is this the same spot? Now, a quick little bit of information and a thank you. Thank you guys so much for the support on this series. I actually filmed up to episode 11 way back in the middle of February. So I kind of watched it all, uh, all blow up when I'd already made the content. I was trying to get a little ahead. And as with the way that I am filming this in like an hour at a time, other than that one mob farm episode, it sort of just was easy to film it all in one go and keep moving forward. So... Ar Nouveau. <laughs> it's Ar Nouveau. I understand. I'm so sorry that I mispronounced it so many times. Ar Nouveau. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I hope you have all been enjoying it, regardless of my, uh, my mistakes in pronunciation. Once again, there are many different ways to uh, approach this mod pack and many different things that you can do that I'm not necessarily going to do. Like, I don't think I'm going to make myself a jetpack anytime soon just because I don't really like the idea of creative flight. Um, I'd much rather get around with other ways like this and getting myself a Lytra and bits and pieces and just having some fun that way. But 
Hopefully you guys still enjoy what I do and what I get up to. And look at how neat this is. <laughs> so yes, I have these upgraded to netherite now. And uh, really, they can be used for extra stuff. I might even start to sort these into purities. And then I made sure to put all of my uh, different types of armor that have a bunch of tags on it. Uh, in these instead of in my system, just to make sure that I didn't accidentally cause some problems. So now, with some things a little bit tidied up, uh, what do I tackle first? <laughs> I think I want some wings. I think I want to go out to the end and uh, explore it a little bit. I've also, look at that, I've cleared it out. I've made so much room. Also, what did I unlock here? Getting started. Oh, an enchanting table. Beautiful. Food and farming. Wheat. A nouveau. Ah, <laughs> some of you might have been screaming at your screen when I couldn't work out how to make a uh, a firework star. It is just a piece of gunpowder with a single piece of colored dye. And any of them worked. So I made a white one and we now have access to uh, the AOE spell or the augment. So I should technically be able to make myself something that breaks things pretty easily. But... I don't really need to prepare myself much. I think I'm fairly strong. I'm going to put those things away. I've got some food in here. I've got uh, my backpack for storing goodies. In fact, I've got a lot of backpacks in here now somewhere. Let's just search. Yeah, <laughs> all of these are completely empty. So yes, if I want to take, say, one extra diamond backpack, that would do the trick. I've got stuff and things. Yeah, let's go to the end portal. A swoop. So, because we fought the dragon so many times, we do have a bunch of portals set up out to uh, different areas. I wonder if we can get through it easily. We might need to get a... Huh. Do I have any building blocks? Ooh. Uh, Alan the Magical. Which one are you? Oh, I can take you on. Oh, I didn't bring a shield. That's fine. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, we got ourselves a shield. <laughs> it's actually not bad either. Health, armor, knockback resistance. Sure. So. Oh, I do have one over here. This is the one that I went out exploring just to see if I could get myself some... Uh... Oh, I missed. I wanted to get some chorus fruit, but uh, quickly found out that it wasn't really going to work out here. So let's have a look, see where I found. Yeah. Ooh. I don't think I want to take you on. So, uh, not quite the end that I'm used to, but I'm sure that we can find something interesting, like whatever that is. Is that like a mine? Okay. So. I think we still got fairly decent amount of mana, and I shouldn't accidentally fall off if I'm careful. Let's have a look at these different areas. Oh, God. <laughs> that just dropped a helmet. What is this space? Whoa, if you look at the map... In fact, let's... Uh, not that one. Let's bring up the journey map. Oh, my goodness. This is bigger than it looks. Much bigger than it looks. wonder if there's anything in here worth grabbing. Endemite? I mean, sure. What are they dropping? Dragon's Eye Snack. Oh. <laughs> it works a little bit like a, uh, a chorus fruit. What I'm most interested in is whether or not down here there are chests. Loot chests. Maybe? Maybe not. Perhaps we come back to this another time and explore it properly. But for now, I'm really interested in trying to find myself some Elytra and some uh, end ships. Just because I know that the loot from them are going to be pretty spectacular. Need to be a little bit careful too. I've nearly broken this. Let's head out. Interesting. We have natural spawns of... <laughs> Oh, poor end of it. Natural spawns on them over here. Okay, onwards with adventure. Now, if I 
zoom out of this and have a look at the overworld view, you can see that I have uh, explored up this way looking for stuff. But let's head over this way. Oh! Oh! Yes! <laughs> Wait! <laughs> oh, that's laggy as it's trying to load stuff in. Whoa. Come on. Oh, leave me alone. I'm excited. This is, uh, this is a little different to... Yeah. Oh, I want these. Oh. These are important for, uh, doing some enchanting later on. Let's jump down here. Thank you. And you. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Well, this is what I was after. Yeah! Now, I believe that these can go in the back slot instead of my backpack. They can't go on the body, but they can go in the back. So, if I didn't want to be able to... Wait, if I wanted to, say, keep my main netherite backpack in uh, in my inventory, like that, I could still access it and uh, use the wings on the back while maintaining my armor, which is pretty cool. So I think we might do that for the time being. What have we got here? Uses ender pearls to let the player teleport around. Okay. A diamond backpack. Nice. Hey, oh, very nice. Uh, loot. And what else? Ooh. Extra reach, breaks in a 5x5 five five area, blocks, block drops will teleport, has netherite effectiveness against all blocks. That's not bad at all. The higher your luck made up of all of these things, the more likely you are to get some decent stuff. So we'll definitely be on the lookout for high luck items. But that's cool. Let's now... Ooh. Let's now jump across. Oh, I've got a lighter on. I forgot. <laughs> wow. I just want to jump across here, and I'm not even that concerned about all of the uh, all of the shulkers here. I just want the loot. Yeah, diamond knife, a netherite sword. Ooh, ooh, a totem of void undying. That's interesting. Very interesting. I'm gonna grab that and maybe put that on instead of the one that I have. Yeah, but because we have backpacks, the uh, the shulkers don't quite have the same appeal that they do. Now you can upgrade shulkers to have much more storage in this pack. So they're still pretty decent. But uh, yeah, backpacks are better. Do we have any additional chests? Maybe not. I got what I wanted very quickly. You can go. What are you doing up there? Yeah. What do we get? Ooh. Oh, that's nice. Extra health. Mana regen 4. Mana boost 4. Huh. It doesn't have the uh, luck, but it does have two slots. Nice. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> now, is that where I came through? It is. How did I not notice that the first time? But having this Art Nouveau book and uh, being able to dash around with it and use Elytra at the same time, pretty convenient. Ooh. These are cool. Now, do my wings take durability damage? They do. So that is something that we do need to be aware of because it doesn't actually show it up like it usually would if I was wearing them on my back. So, unless we see another city, oh, oh, or something interesting. <laughs> uh, Amatrine, huh? Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I broke my really good thing. Oh, it's fine. We can make good stuff. <laughs> what is this? Amatrine is used to make Amatrine gems, which is used to make horse armor, block, 
I'm sure there's more to it. Well, <laughs> oh, what's this? Amateur in cluster. Oh, let's grab this out. Oh, it digs in a five by. <sighs> I'm really making some mistakes here. I think we just call it quits and go home. <laughs> so we've got ourselves some elytra and I want to be able to enchant up some items. So now that I've cleaned this whole area up, what I'm going to do is grab my bookshelves, my enchanting table, and we're going to go at Apotheosis. Apotheosis, thank you. And we're going to look at these things. End shelves, draconic end shelves, pearlescent end shelves, and eventually we're going to be trying to get ourselves a library of Alexandria. Now these things all built up together are going to allow us to over enchant a lot, like heaps and heaps. So, uh, do I have some endstone? I do. So if we go back to these and have a look at the end bookshelves, we need that dragon's breath. That's why it's probably about time that we uh, do one more dragon fight. I just need some gas tears. I swear I had gas tears somewhere. Hmm. That's fine. I'm sure we can get some pretty quickly now with looting five. Somewhere over this direction, I have a little bit of... Oh. Not what I expected. But I don't know if I've checked this out. Let's, let's quickly go in here and have a look. I must have. Okay. Interesting. Now. Huh. I think I've lost my way. Huh. Have I been in here? <laughs> I must have. <laughs> it's all blown up. Oh boy. Everything happens and I forget. Like I said, it has been a little while since I played. Die. <laughs> mm. They're not bad, but not great either. At least we can keep them and destroy them for some goodies later on. Oh, I hear you. Come here. <laughs> How many did we get? Three. Almost enough. <gasps> nice spawn. Seven. Very nice. That'll do. Oh, it's so nice to have a system like this set up now where I can just come back, put all of this stuff away. We'll just uh, be careful with this stuff, making sure that we... We don't put it in our system just in case. But a lot of these things are going to be really nice for breaking down to enchant our own things and give our own uh, items some really good upgrades. So, uh, crystal. We want how many of these? One, two, three, and four. Oh, good. <laughs> we got that quest too. Nice. Redstone site. Also kind of nice. So... A very quick and probably very easy dragon fight. And it's really quite amazing now how quickly I can go through and just do stuff like this. We're just so strong, <laughs> so fast. And I know that we can get a lot more. But uh, even now, just being able to go, oh, I should just quickly fight the dragon. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Now, now I'll leave my elytra on for this one. Let's just jump over here. And enjoy probably like a one minute dragon fight. Now, in fact, I actually want to spend a little bit more time than that. Why is that so damn loud? Just because we want to get some dragon's breath. So maybe I come down here and let her shoot me. Dragon! Yes, thank you. Do -do 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 -do. I got ender air bottles, apparently. That's not what I was after. Gotta be a little bit careful. Oh, you shot me in the butt. <laughs> Please, ma'am, may I have some more? What happened to that one? Did you hit your own? You did. Very interesting. Okay. Now, land and do your thing. No, stop hitting yourself in the air. I need to be able to get to it. You coming down? Alright, well, that'll do. Shoot me. 
Now this is going to be very loud once again. I don't know why it is so loud, but... I can lower that in post. <laughs> Since it's probably only one dragon's breath per bookshelf, we've probably already got enough, but I'm going to let her come down one more time. In fact, I could probably force her to do so. If I just uh, fight her in the air. What's my Elytra like? Half. Come here. Eh. Oh yes, Gib. <laughs> Come now. Spit it out. Nice. Okay. Now I can kill her. Come here. Come here. <laughs> Fear me. Ah ha ha ha. You're not the biggest bird in these guys. <laughs> That's just insanity. Chasing down the ender dragon in the sky. Cool. Uh. Oh, that took a little while. Oh, I haven't set my spawn. There we go. Let's do that now. <laughs> now, I'm going to save these because we probably will get into Batania later. Now. What are these used for? I didn't really check it out much. Oh, that's uh, that's high, high level stuff. Used for making the final object. Dragon Egg Crux? Probably pretty interesting. What about these ones? You can duplicate Elytra, possibly? Yeah. So, now we can re-bring up Apotheosis and start making these. Now I'm going to put those over to the side as uh, options of things that I want to make. I want these shelves of sight. I want the Library of Alexandria. There's a lot of different ways that we can uh, we can go about this. So first and foremost let's make ourselves an endstone and there we go. Nice. Now what we want to do is start setting this up and hmm, where do I want to put it? Oh yeah, I don't think I want to use that. <laughs> uh, what have we got in here? Just give me something normal. That'll do. If we look up in here, what is it like? Oh, probably not meant to be destroyed like that, but we could tidy this up I think yeah with a axe we can open this up a little bit and uh, make ourselves a little enchanting room built into <laughs> the back of the boat so if we perhaps bring this across and tie it back in so that it looks correct this could turn out really nice <laughs> I like it okay so I think that is uh, right on the outside pretty much that's a perfect little spot to tuck in. Very nice. So I can put down my table here. And previously, if I'd put down normal shelves, it would have gone up to about 15 a turner and pretty much not much else. But with these, I should be able to put these down like this. And this is just an example. Oh, we need some of this and an item maybe. Yeah. So that brings us up to 40, but we want to try and get all of this completely full. So. Whoa. What happened there? So the next thing to do is try and get them to pearlescent, which requires some end rods. This is where something like chorus fruit is pretty important. I'm going to grab my three. Oh, 
that's not how I wanted to do that. My three botany pots that I was using earlier. And do these need to grow on end stone? We just happen to have three left. I think that's it. Cool. We can chuck the rest of those in our furnace. Ba -da -da -boo -boo. And those used with some blaze rods will get us a decent amount. Now, what advantages do these have over the other? You can see this one gives us Eterna 3, Quanta 3.5, and Arcana 3.5, but this gives us 3, 5, and 7.5. So a little bit nicer, up to a maximum of 40. So we will need a few extra bits and pieces to get us all the way up to the higher level. And that's gonna be achieved with these dragon heads. So I actually might need to go out and find a little bit more. Yeah. All right, back to the end. <laughs> let these uh, let these grow. Ooh, maybe I should see if I have some mending. What about a unbreaking? Probably not. That's fine though. We'll at least put mending on it, and then that way I can actually jump down to this over here. Ooh, does this mend? It doesn't. Let's just turn on these guys for a minute. Do I get any XP? Hmm, it's fine. <laughs> there are options. We'll grab a tap. We'll grab our drain here. Put it there. And it's healed. Perfect. So let's, uh, let's go to a completely different side. That way we have a little bit more of a chance of finding some new stuff. A swoop. Load. Ooh. Pretty. A tetanthar. Interesting. So hopefully this loads pretty quickly. And we find ourselves a city. What is this structure? Is this actually just a city that is completely... It is. Okay. Worth exploring for the loot. Thank you. There's another one, but it doesn't look like it has a ship. In fact, it doesn't look like it has much of much. Ooh, but this is interesting. This is what I was looking for originally. Is a place to find just straight chorus fruit. <gasps> Hello, buddy. Enderbee. Endstone nest, too. That seems important. And is this like a crashed ship? Indeed it is. An end city map, hey? Okay. I like this. Where are we looking? Uh... <laughs> okay. To the north, I suppose. Hey, look. An end city. <laughs> Ooh. That's the same as our boat, but it's in the end. Very interesting. As is this. Very interesting indeed. I don't think I'm really... Ooh, yeah, that interested in their uh, spawners. That's a husk spawner. Meh. These guys aren't quite as scary as they were the first time I found them. <laughs> so if we come up here... That's a hoglin spawner. I've already got one of those. Break this one over here. <laughs> Ooh, a void tier. Keeps almost unlimited amount of one item type. Cool. Netherite pickaxe. Salamander's eye dispels blaze fireballs and reflects gas fireballs while held. Huh. All right, let's deal with uh, the rest of them, and then we can we can get back to this. Nice place you got here, though, folks. Someone could definitely live here. Let's just delete that, delete this, and delete this. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> okay. Totems, tridents. Some nice leggings. All sorts of bits and pieces. Diamonds, backpacks. These are really good because they are the orange, like the highest value. They're actually worth destroying. Feather Falling 6 is good to grab. They're worth destroying to get the essence from them that allows us to put basically that style of thing with the armor and the high luck and sockets and whatnot onto our existing gear, our gear that we build up ourselves. Not even going to bother taking those backpacks. Ooh, feeding upgrades. 
Oh, so many of these are good. Addiction torch. That's interesting. I've never seen one of those. Ooh, that's a nice bow. Elven bow of the current. 80% chance to shoot a second arrow. 133% draw speed. Damn, that's nice. We'll definitely keep that. And yeah, the rest is meh. Now, can I get some dragon heads, please? This city here doesn't have any, but that's okay. I'll just go in and take the loot from in here. And use my book to get out. And we keep searching. Now I think, yeah, it was showing me to that city. So, no thanks. Ooh, cryptic stone, redstone ore. There's a lot to explore out in the end. But right now, I need that. Phew. Okay, you can disappear. I'll take the spare elytra. Absolutely. A nice diamond sword. And I'm not exactly sure how many we need, so we might try and find one or two more after a quick little loot. Ooh, okay. Huh? What is this? Increases the wearer's maximum health. Nice. Sir Shadows? Nah. Not worth it. Father Emily? Also not worth it. Now I'm pretty sure that I can get uh, what I need with just two of the... Uh... Oh, Cowden Daughter Purr. <laughs> worth it. I'm pretty sure with just two of the bookshelves that use the uh, dragon's head, I should be able to do what I needed to. But honestly, getting a couple extra is fine. Ooh, this guy is not taking damage. Okay. We leave. <laughs> but yes, I would just like to get maybe one more, you know? Ooh. Firework stars. A supply ship. Interesting. Very interesting. I don't know if I want any of that. An end city map though? Sure. Also, do I have a belt slot available? Ah. Mm. I'm gonna put that one on. I'm gonna take that diamond backpack as well because I'm running out of space. All right. Uh, a little bit to the south. It might even be the one that we went past. Oh my goodness. What is this? Oh, that's so cool. What? <sighs> um, hello? This is gorgeous. I mean, the, uh, the residents, not so much. What the heck are you? <laughs> Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Hello? Damn, they're strong. Like, really strong. They're like as strong as an apotheosis boss. Holy moly. Okay. Um... <laughs> And we get floated. Okay. Uh, let's think about this. I might switch over to my Silk Touch. And we might grab whatever spawner that is. That was... what? Oh, God. <laughs> if I open this one, it was a just a plain old skeleton spawner. These guys are crazy. Oh, they're killing me with, like, slowness and... <gasps> I've got... Mining speed reduction as well. Wait, it teleported me. <laughs> what? This is incredible. All right, let's try and uh, remove some spawners so that we don't have to deal with as many. But good Lord, every time I get hit by their arrows, I'm getting uh, mining fatigue and all sorts of nasties. 
course I take off the uh, obsidian skull when I get lit on fire. <laughs> Cola? Wait, it actually... Coca-Cola. <laughs> That's great. What is this? This is the most random discovery. Wow. All right, then. Let's grab this bow that we found. Maybe we do a little bit of, uh, a little bit of bowing. Yeah, how's it feel? To get floated as well. Ow. Ah. They all have netherite on as well. What is this place? Well, uh, I assume there's more, lots more, like lots, lots more. I hate to do it to you folks. <laughs> I think it's cliffhanger time. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to call the episode here on our mission to get ourselves some dragon heads. We've stumbled across a quite impressive fortress out in the middle of the end here. And, uh... Yeah, we've got some looting to do. So I'm going to uh, see you in the next episode where we take on this fortress and hopefully make our way back to the ship to home to start working on some better enchantments. Thank you very much to my Patreon supporters for your continued support. You folks are amazing and a couple of new ones as well. I appreciate that you're willing to help me continue to make this stuff and it really does mean a lot. To everybody who's watched, I hope you don't mind the cliffhanger and I hope you enjoyed this episode. I'm looking forward to the next one. So... Until that next one, I hope you take care of yourselves, and I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye-bye, everyone. Uh, oh my god, this is just chaos. Whoop!